Pakistan taking on West Indies. This is the last quarter finals of the Legends League. This is straight from Adelaide Oval. We have a dry pitch here. And at the toss, West Indies deciding to bat first. It's Wasi Makram to Chris Gale. Spicy contest. Oh, almost a leading edge there, carrying to the fielder. The full delivery this time finds a gap and that will be the first boundary of the innings here for Chris Gale and West Indies. He's looking for that swing but Gale up to it, flicks it and comes back for two. Akram looking for that swing and we have Waka Yunus from the other end. Attempted Yorker but ended up as a full toss. Brian Lara getting a single there. Exciting opening partnership here of Chris Gale and Brian Lara for West Indies. Waka Yunis, that is a bit wide, but Lara mistiming that one. Goes for a bouncer here, but Chris Gale up to it and he smashes it for a boundary. Crowd filling up now. Wasi Makram to continue from the other end. That is a smashing hit from Chris Gale and that will clear the boundary into the green stands, into the green chairs, in fact. This time towards Lexton, fine leg does the cleaning up. Good shot, beautiful shot along the ground and this is now a good start for West Indies. 28 for no loss after 3. Shoei Bakta, the Ravel Pindi Express, now coming on for his first over. Brian Lara not wearing a helmet. Oh, that is a beautiful hit. And he finds a gap. First boundary for Brian Lara. That's in the air this time. This is going straight to the hands. First wicket for Pakistan and Akta strikes. Lara. Going for a repeat of the previous shot, but this time a bit too square and goes for 11. We will Hines and we have Sakhalin Mushtaq holding the fifth over. The restrictions are over after power play. Four overs for power play. Remember, this is a 15 over game and Sakhalin starting off well here. Oh, another beautiful delivery. Restrictive line from Sakhalin Mushtaq. Oh, yes, right, that one. Yes, that's the first wicket. For the magician, he is pumped up there. And Vavel Hines just edging that one. Goes for four. Pakistan right back in the contest. Shahid Afridi from the other end. And Pakistan have wealth of bowling resources here. Plenty of all-rounders. We have Abdul Razak, Mohamed Afiz. Lot of options. Spinners restricting the batsman in the last couple of overs. Oh, he's got all of that one, Chris Gale. And that is a slot sweep for six. And West Indies. Breaking the momentum for the Pakistani spinners there. With Richards and going for reverse sweep. Richards so far a bit too silent. 7 from 8. But he's looking to smash the bowling now. Down the wicket and we have a long off there. So might not reach the boundary. Yes, 2 runs. In fact, just a single poor running there. Oh, that is better. This is the Viv Richards that we know and love. That is a long way back into the stands. Richards for 6 for him. 71 for 2. Saklain into his last over. Richards dance out the wicket. Oh, that's thrown a bit too wide from Saklain. And looks like he has fooled Richards here. Yes. Oh, that is magnificent bowling from Saklain. Mustak threw that a little too wide. And he had to reach for that Richards. Carl Hooper now, the new batsman. Big wicket that. Getting rid of Vivian Richards. Cheaply. But Chris Gale, he is still in the mood and he gets to, in fact, moves to 44 now. Wakayun is back for a second spell and single to start off with. Another full delivery, Hooper just getting a single. So, run rate coming down a little bit in the last five overs. Oh, he's got him. That is strange. Carl Hooper not moving his feet. Wakayun is just pitching a pitch shot, that one. Bowl five full deliveries, one a pitch shot and... Hooper is gone. Let's scoop that one, Chris Gale. It did not go to the intended direction, but he still gets his 50 with the boundary. Just 30 deliveries. Shahid Afridi, and uh, he's into his last over as well. A little bit expensive here. But the spinners have done generally well for Pakistan after a good start from West Indies. Four overs left, 90 for four. Can they get to run 150, 140? Oh, surprise bouncer, quick bouncer from Wakar, really Jacobs, not up to it. Beautiful bowling, another dot ball. Run rate now, just about 8, Wasi Makram back. 
and the field placing has been brilliant from Pakistan. Oh, tries a short delivery, but that will go to the boundary. Chris Gale. Oh, in fact, that's a brilliant piece of feeling there. Did not expect that. That's a huge shot from Chris Gale. And he is going to cut loose. Just 15 balls left. The danger man for Pakistan here. Oh, he's gone for it again. But Wasim Akram pulled the length back a little bit here. Huge stadium means that ball going straight to the fielder there. He did not have to move an inch. Another big wicket here for Pakistan. They keep getting these wickets. Crucial wickets. Gale goes for 61. Jimmy Adams, the wicket keeper. And Akto back. For a second over and this could be out no just one bounce uh, could have attacked the ball a bit better the fielder there Okta not giving anything away once again fast and furious full delivery just a single brilliant death bowling this from pakistan the restricted west indies here to 112 last over mohammad hafiz to bowl and they need to get uh, last big over here West Indies they are not doing that well but this time he has cleared the boundary really Jacobs is known for his big hits dances down the wicket is gone now a beautiful Yorker link delivery from Hafiz following the batsman there and aim towards the leg stump no room whatsoever for Jacobs goes for 19 Sherwin Campbell oh that's tossed up nicely and he accepts the invitation a six down the wicket a bit too shorter that's edged and Kamran Akmal does the rest wicket number seven for West Indies and for Pakistan Bobby Dillon last ball and that could be just a single uh, yeah poor running there so West Indies finish on 126 for seven Chris Gale the man who took them to that score bowling wise Saklin Mushtaq the backbone two wickets Hafiz getting two in the last and the Pacers getting a wicket each so Kamran Akmal and Mohammad Afiz out for the chase is Mervyn Dillon for the first over. Oh, no slip in place and the shot delivery takes the edge as well. Disappointment for the bowler. Pull that one, just a single here. So target not a big one here for Pakistan. 15 overs, 128 to win. It's edge it and gone. Mohammad Afiz first delivery goes for a drive, loose shot. Shahid Afridi with a promotion of the order. It's a surprising move off spinning of Vivian Richards, second over itself. And it's going to be tough to play the spin on this wicket. And yes, wide and short. Oh, that's another dot ball. Bowling well here, Richards. Akmal goes after it and finds a boundary much needed for Pakistan there on just eight runs after two overs. And a flick shot here will get him a single and put. Shahid Afridi back on strike, one of the rarest shite in world cricket. Afridi batting on zero from seven balls, he's trying his best, but not able to execute them. But this time he gets one in his slot and maybe a bit high on the bat, but it's enough. The power of Afridi takes to the boundary. Gets hold of Richards now, Shahid Afridi. And looks like he's back in touch and one more boundary here. Huge ground, would have been six on any other ground. Bit of a shuffle here, but another dot ball. Richards, five runs of nine balls considered another dot ball. Sharp spin for Vivian Richards. Oh, that's a bit too wide. Afridi uses his long handle. And this time, he clears the boundary with immense power. Kurtley Ambrose now. That's in the air and gone straight to Chris Gale. And shot delivery into the body, working for Ambrose. Akmal departs for 11. Inzabamul Haq, the big man and Afridi, he continues to slog here and he gets another boundary. Full delivery this time to the leg side, you don't, you can't bowl that to Shahid Afridi. He will eat you alive all day, full toss on the leg side. Inzabamul Haq, oh that is the best shot of the day, that is the best shot of the day. Inzabamul Haq just pulling it with disdain, clearing the boundary with ease. This time through the offside, he looks like he is on a mission here. And that is one of the biggest six you will ever see. Inza Mam, look at the height there. Uh, he's gone after it again. This time a boundary, but this is utter disdain from Inzi. Afridi going for a back foot punch there. And this time Afridi clears the field with ace and this is now 
and absolute demolition from Pakistan. They took their time in the first couple of overs. Now they're going after the bowling. Enza Mamul Huk is just stunning to watch when in full flow. And we have Carl Hooper, the off spinner, now back into the attack. Good bounce on that one. Pakistan need 56 from 47. Afridi plays that into the gap. They might come back for two. Inzamam is a bit too slow. Afridi makes it in with the dive. And he cleans him up. Uh, the wicket was always on the card. They were going for their shots. But this time, a beautiful delivery from Carl Hooper. Miss Bauluhak and Hooper continuing his good work. In Zamam, he is in prime touch. He is peppering that cover area, extra cover area, and he is looking unstoppable today. Just 50 to win from 40, and In Zamam moves to 29 from just nine balls. What an innings! And Paul Hooper continuing the good work. The spinners have been difficult to get away, and Pakistan would do well to not lose any wickets. Getting runs has been difficult against the spin. Bovin Dillon back into the attack and Mizbah takes a single. In fact, comes back for two. Good running, excellent running. Now nah, that's a terrible delivery. Can't bowl on the leg side with all the fielders on the offside. Mizbah takes use of that one easily. Shot delivery. Oh, look at the placement. Two fielders. He pulled that between those brilliant batting from Mizbah. That is a clash shot, racing away to the boundary. Oh, good work, Ms. Bowlhuk. That was an amazing try. Look at the timing on that one. Chris Gale, the third spinner on display, West Indies. They know that spinners are difficult to play. But Inzamam, he will try his best. He will try his best to take on the spin. He is a majestic player of spin bowling, this guy. Inzamam will hook. Oh, he's gone after that one, Chris Gale. He thinks that he has a chance, but it is nowhere close to the fielders. And Inzamam smashing Chris Gale. Jimmy Adams now, fourth spin on display, and West Indies just spamming the spinners here. And oh, Miss Butt trying his best, but not able to clear the ball, clear the field. In fact, 22 from 16, Inzamam. So this is still a tight match. Spinners are not easy to get away unless you are Inzamam Mulhuk. Then you can smash any of these bowlers. He is in such great form. And he is taking Pakistan close to the victory. Two overs left. Kurtli Ambrose into the attack. Oh, this could be the end of Inzamam. Yes, four fielders there and he hits it straight to them. But nonetheless, a brilliant innings. Strike rate of 200. Goes for 44 from 22 balls. Abdul Razak now. Oh, how did he miss that one? They're going for a bye. That just missed the leg stump. 16 to win from 10 and Miss knows it. He goes after it. And yes, a boundary. The last over could be bowled by a spinner. They need a big over in this one. Good shot, but straight to the fielder. Just a single. 9 from 7. What can Miss Bat do? Bang! That's up in the air. And oh, that will bounce over the fielder. Lucky for Pakistan. Last over, 5 to win. Abdul Razak on strike. Single here. Good from Razak, putting Miss Ba back on strike. This has been a cool, cool innings from Miss Ba. Not taking any pressure. They're doing it in singles here. Just two to win from three now. So that's a wide, not what West Indies needed. What have you done, Walsh? And hit him on the hit him on the forearms, but they'll go through, and that's it. Victory for Pakistan by six wickets, but it was closer than it looked. And good innings from Afridi, but Inzamam turned the match around. But Ms. Bauluk, as cool as ever, 25 not out. Bowling wise, spinners did well initially, but the runs were a bit too less to, for them to play around. In the end, Chris Gale played of the match, but Pakistan go through to the semi final where they will face England. India will face South Africa, will be back with that match soon. Until the next time, it's goodbye from me. Take care. Have a nice one.